Welcome back to the studio, my senior friends. Savannah here, and we are going to be doing our adaptive chair yoga class. Find a chair that's sturdy and has no arms on the side. We'll begin by sitting on the end of the chair, away from the back, sitting tall. Take a moment to close your eyes and center up. Clear your mind. Let go of all thoughts and plans for the day. Begin to slow your breath in and out of the nose. Let go and relax any tension in your shoulders. We'll begin with our first breathing exercise, interlacing the fingers underneath the chin, sitting tall, feet shoulder width apart. We inhale through the nose, framing the face, lifting up the elbows, and exhale, bringing the elbows to touch, tilting the head back, opening the mouth to exhale. <sighs> Repeat. Focus on challenging those lungs as you inhale and push out as you exhale, tightening the abdominal muscles. Last one. Elbows to touch. Relax the hands down and roll the shoulders backward. Nice and slow, releasing any tension. Let's elevate the heels up off of the floor. Inhale up and exhale, bringing the heels back to earth. Repeat. Coordinate the movement with your breathing. Maintain that upright posture. As you lift the heels up, think about squeezing the calf muscles, going as high as you can, spreading the toes into the earth, and slowly releasing back down. This is a good way to get the blood flowing to the lower extremity. Good way to activate our leg muscles. Two more. Last one right here and relax it down. Good. Let's sit tall, avoiding the back of the chair, extending out the right leg, keeping the knee straight, squeezing the thigh muscles. As you inhale, bring that toe in towards your body and exhale, pushing it away. Let's repeat. Keep that chest up. Again, focusing on getting as much range of motion in that ankle joint as possible. Feel a gentle stretch as you pull the toe in in the back of the calf. Two more. And last one right here. 
and foot down to earth. Let's switch sides. Sit tall. Try to get that foot up a little higher if you can. Again, those quadriceps are nice and tight. Stabilizing the leg. And two more. The last one, foot back down to earth. Very good. Let's grab that right leg, right knee pulling into the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades back. Think about retracting them together and gently tucking the chin while keeping your spine in a nice upright posture. Hold it here. Feel a gentle stretch in that posterior hip. Remember, if you feel any discomfort in any of these movements, please discontinue the movement or lighten up on your stretch or pose. Last inhale. And slowly exhale, foot back to earth. Switch sides. Try and sit tall. Try not to lean to one side. Last inhale, and slowly exhale, bringing that back down to the side. Let's rotate to the right in the chair, and bring your right hand behind the back of the chair, palm reaching down to the earth while your left hand is in the same position, chest up, tuck the chin, and when you're ready, gently turn your body to feel a little bit more of a stretch across the chest, pectoralis muscles, hold it here. And you're just looking for an intensity that is not painful, but a gentle stretch. Keep breathing, nice and easy. Think about lifting the crown of the head up to the sky, elongating that spine, lifting up the high heart, last big inhale, and exhale, bringing that arm back to center. Let's go to the other side. Left hand behind the back of the chair, and right hand, palms facing forward, sit tall. And when you're ready, apply a little bit more of a twist back toward the center, using the back of the chair as a little bit of a pressure to hold your arm away, creating space in the shoulder and chest. Excellent. Last inhale. And slowly exhale, bring that hand back around. Let's go into our eagle pose next. Big inhale, arms up to the side. Right arm is going to cross underneath the left, bending the elbows, bringing that right finger inside the left palm. Lift the elbows up, sit tall, look up at the hands, and holding here. Keep that steady breath. Maintain a clear mind. All you need to think about 
is your breath. Last big inhale and slowly unwind as you exhale. Wide out arms and back down to the side. We're going to right back up. Big inhale. Sit tall and this time the left arm is going underneath the right, bending the elbows and lifting up. Look up at those hands, tuck the chin a little bit. And last inhale, slowly unwind, wide spread, and Beautiful. Next position, big, big inhale, arms up overhead, interlacing the fingers, index and thumb to touch, biceps next to the ears, keeping the elbow joint as straight as you can, reaching up, more up, big inhale, and slowly exhale, leaning over to the right. Keeping those arms straight, right next to the ears, lean over, feeling a gentle stretch on the left side of the body, lean more, and back up to center. Beautiful. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Big inhalation, and slowly exhale, leaning over to the left. Here you go, as far as you can. Hold it here. Keep that steady breathing. And slowly back up to center. We're going to go into our backward bend. Big inhale. And slowly tilting back, arching the back. Dig the heels into the earth. More back. Avoid touching the back of the chair. Hold it here. And back up to center. We're going to go into our forward fold. Open up the legs. Draw in the navel. Big inhale. And we're going to fold ourselves in half. Nice and slow. Working our way down to the floor. Fingers to touch and palms flat. Let the head relax down and hold it here. Feel a gentle stretch in that lumbar spine. Proceed into turning the head right and left, nice and easy. Letting gravity pull the head slowly toward the ground, feeling a gentle stretch in that cervical spine. And then let's make some yes movements. Nice and slow, tucking the chin and looking up. Think about relaxing those feet and hips to enhance the stretch in the lower back. And let's slowly work our way back up by interlacing the fingers, index and thumb to touch, bringing those arms back to the ears, and slowly tightening the tummy and pulling ourselves back up to the upright position in the chair. Big stretch up, reach the arms up one last time. One last big breath. And slowly exhale, relaxing the arms down to the side. Excellent job. Go ahead and rotate side to side, turning the spine and head, giving your body whatever it needs at this time. 
Everyone needs a little something different. Give it what it's asking for. Excellent. Let's go into our Tadasana, our mountain pose, standing in front of the chair, heels and toes to touch. Squeeze the knees together, and you're gently going to tuck the hips underneath, squeezing your gluteal muscles together while your palms are forward. Bring those shoulders back, and we're going to be still like a mountain. Maintain that slow and steady breathing in and out of the nose. From this position, we will go into our chair pose, squeezing the knees together and inner thighs. Big inhalation. And slowly exhale, bringing those arms up to the ears and shifting the weight over the chair, looking three feet in front of you to the ground, keeping the chest up. Try not to let yourself go way down here. We want you to use the leg muscles. So keep them up, hold it here. Try to keep the arms next to the ears. Lower the hips down a little more. Keep that breath. 10 seconds. And exhale back up to mountain. We're going to have one more chance at that position. We won't hold as long. Here we go. Big inhale. And exhale back down. Get a little lower this time. Challenge those legs. This is where we get stronger in our practice. Five seconds. And exhale back up. Excellent job. Let's take a step to the side of our chair as we have the opportunity to do the warrior two pose. If you don't feel comfortable getting out of the chair and doing the standing version of this, again, you may do this in the chair by turning to one side extending out the back leg, driving the heel into the ground, keeping knee bent and palms down, spine upright, and turning toward the right. So this would be your seated version. Of course, we will do this standing as well. Remember all these seated positions, you can do standing vice versa. So that was the seated version. So if you're there, hold that pose. If you're standing up and want a little bit of a challenge, we're going to take a big step out to the right, toe pointed toward the right, palms down, and the back leg should be at an angle. So we want that foot at a little bit of an angle, and we're slowly going to drop our hips down, lunging down, keeping that leg straight, palms down, looking to the right, upright position of the spine, Hold it here. Try to lower yourself down. Okay, let's go down into triangle. Rotating the body, reaching the right hand down to the ankle and looking up at that sky. If you're not comfortable doing this, remember you can always hold on to that chair with one arm and still do what you can if you're not quite balanced, okay? Remember safety first in all of these practices. Slowly rotate back up to warrior two. And let's push through that right leg, bringing the toe back to center. 
and pushing off back together. Excellent. Let's try the same thing on the other side of the chair. Big step out to the left and dropping the hip down, holding it here, upright posture. And let's move down into a triangle, reaching that hand down to the ankle, slowly looking up. Hold it here. And back up to warrior two. Let's push through that left foot, toe back to center, and feet together. All right, let's go to the right side of the chair for our tree pose next. Again, if you want to stay in your chair, you may participate doing the hand movements and just lifting one leg off the chair, off the ground. Okay. Let's stand on the left leg, lifting the right foot off. We would like to go to the foot, the bottom of the foot on the inside calf or higher into the thigh if you can. If you're not quite there for the single leg balance, keep your toe available onto the ground just to give you a little bit more balance. That's perfectly fine. Again, if you're still a little unsure, stay close to that chair and hold on. Wherever you're at, find your balancing leg and let's hold it. One hand to chest. And two hands to chest. And when you're ready, reach those arms up and over, maintaining a straight leg, squeezing the gluteal muscle to stabilize the pelvis. You look great. And slowly transition the hands back to chest, and then slowly control foot back to earth. Wonderful. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Standing on the right foot, let's bring the left foot off the ground, wherever that is for you. And let's go ahead and bring one hand to chest, two hands to chest, and lift up challenging our balance today. Reach up, hold it here. Good, and slowly bring the hands back down to center and the foot back down to earth. Beautiful. Let's go into our downward dog position. Holding on to the back of the chair, walking the feet back, keeping the knees straight, sticking the hips back. You're slowly going to lower your chest down to the earth, relaxing the head, relaxing the shoulders, and feeling a stretch in the hamstring or behind the thigh. So hold it here. Go ahead and let your head fall as well, feeling a little bit of a stretch in the neck. Go ahead and shift your weight back just a little bit more to feel a little bit of a bigger pull in the posterior thigh. Maintain that slow breathing. Excellent. Come back up nice and easy. Take a couple steps forward. We're going to go into our modified cat camel movement for some spinal mobility. So rounding the back, tucking the chin, and arching the back, looking up, and exhaling. Repeat this movement. Try and get as much movement in your vertebrae as possible. 
keep the head and neck involved. Again, if you're just seated in your chair, another option for you, keep going on those standing cat camels, is just to sit and widen out and round out your shoulders and back and then arch just in the seated position. You can still get that mobility. <laughs> Wherever you're at, keep moving. more. Standing on the right side of the chair, big step back and reaching up and over and leaning over, holding onto that chair. Again, if you're seated, just reach one arm up and lean over to the side. I thank you for attending our adaptive chair yoga class and honoring your body, mind, and spirit. Go ahead and relax down, switch sides, big step back with that left leg and left arm up and over. This is a great way to start your day, start your week. And exhale back down. I welcome you for our final meditation back in the chair. Have a seat, relax back, sit back, close your eyes, index and thumb to touch, relax on your mat. Center your mind and relax your shoulders. Clearing your thoughts one more time. Deepening your breathing. Awakening. There is only one time when it is essential to awaken. That time is now. Even with our eyes open, we sometimes go through our days as if we're sleepwalking. These are the only days we have. We need to be aware of them. I will be awake, really awake today. Enjoy my moments. Namaste.